Good evening, beautiful people. It's lovely to see everybody here tonight. And I'm really honored to be part of the uh, Psyche's movement. And as well, I want to thank everybody who presented today for giving their peace and for showing their power of expression and our creative ways that we can utilize our potential as a human race. I'm seeing some very beautiful things happening in the world right now with what's going on with this worldwide occupied movement. Over 1,800 cities are participating in this demonstration of human rights that is global. And I want to let people know right now that it's more than just a few tents. It's more than just a few, you know, people out there. This is the world, and this says something very big for humanity because never in our history has this ever happened. Now I'm going to start this by saying we, as a person, and as a community, and as a world, need to remember and to utilize who we are. Our inner light our divine light, our strength, our creativity, our abilities, we all have them. We all have something to contribute to each other, every man, woman, and child. And this is not scripted, this is unlisted, this is off the top of the head because God made me gifted. And all I gotta say to you is I love everyone because namaste, blessed be, we are one. So, in light of the grassroots sort of flow that's going with this vibe here, this is my first time as I East End. I'm definitely going to be coming down to the next ones. I worked all day, you know, eight hour shift, and I'm still here. So in light of that, I ain't coming up with no fancy dancers and no big bass playing in the background on the booming on the bass sound. Instead, I'm going to use what I'm given and I'm going to do a little spoken poetry for all of y'all. The Matrix. We live in a matrix of program consensus reality projected from the collective consciousness of humanity. History, law, science, and spirituality built about the biased precepts of control and insanity limiting your capacity for manifesting and creating your reality. MK Ultra Montauk Project CIA Illuminati. Fluoridization of our water supply. Calcination of the third eye. More vibrations we realize the real lies when we open our real eyes. That when we absorb the thought forms, conditions, and limitations and norms, we take on the pain from generations before. Empty the mind, the first key, the second is to stop the constant chaotic flow of past and future situations, creations which take you out of your presence. You're now, because now is then, and now is now, and now is all that ever will be now, and now is the time. Thank you. The tranquility of the lotus flower, unscathed by circumstances growing beautifully out of chaos into a, magnific a magnificent specimen. I got paste these. <laughs> the analogy of non-attachment to sorrow and negativity, to flourish in the creative forces of love and prosperity, perceiving the waters of clarity, cleansing and refreshing my very being to the essence of my inner sanctuary. In the ascension process, one balance, the darkness, the light, wisdom and might, the middle path, freedom, or prison. What is it? Just listen. Insanity, profanity. My eyes, they glisten. I'm just flipping through because this is all channeled from source. So this is for hip hop, y'all. The vortex splits the image of consciousness. Duality spinning back to singularity. Metaphysical poetry in motion. Ways of the ocean, right in the sea of knowledge and clarity. Blessed be Om Shanti and Lakesh Salam. Amin Ra, source God in the heaven above, inside of us. And in all of it, everyone and every creation under the sun. Blessed requiem of devotional embrace. The angelical and biblical race ascending and descending to and from the spiritual and the physical planes of existence. Once and don't stress, but still I stress this. 
follow your bliss and manifest that what brings you happiness. Truest unconditional love and devotional affection. Inner light source love is our only weapon of protection. Warriors of light unite, time for the resurrection. say up the top. I want to know who here knows about the subject of ascension. Now who here has ever heard of a light worker or a star seed? Nice, I see that. Well basically you might think that you are your name. You might even think that you this little story that you built up for yourself, but I want to tell you right now that we come from something greater. And in this, in this human evolution, everything was necessary to get to this point, including all of the negative things, the atrocities, the oppression that we've experienced. The darkness pushes us towards the light. The darkness is the greatest teacher. Through the sickness, we are shown the healing. Through oppression, through evil, through darkness, we are shown the light, and we are shown love, and more ways that we can express our compassion and unconditional love. So there's no need, no need and no reason to run away from the darkness, because darkness is the teacher, and light is the healer. They work in tandem. God's source, creation, duality, there's no separation. This human experience, this evolution, we are experiencing divine beings in the form of a human. When I wake up in the morning, I try to look at the world with my baby eyes. I try not to look at the world with my preconceived notions, with my textbook's teachings of who I am and where I am. Because my textbooks told me, oh, you're just a human, you're just a human, don't worry about it. Oh, you're in a solar system with planets. Don't worry about it. By the way, your body has complex systems that work in tandem that help you breathe and push cells. And in fact, is this tiny cosmic system that is your body. So relax. You're just a human floating in the middle of eternal space. You are a complex arrangement of atoms and molecules that manage to ponder your own existence. But relax. There's nothing special about that. Relax. <sighs> to breathe this air, to speak these words, to stand here is unreal. And when you look at the world as the eyes of a child, you will see something very different. A tree is no longer a tree. A person is no longer a person. And the earth is no longer the earth. What you see in front of you is an amazingly, astoundingly beautiful creation from what some people might call God, some people might call Allah, Buddha, consciousness, source, whatever you want to call it. But the fact is, we are existing through consciousness and it wants to have the richest experience possible. So love, laugh, create, take care of yourself. And through the darkness, there's always another sunny day. And this is Love and Life for Frank Obizi, original Vendetta Cartel. If you'd like to show some support, you can add me on my Facebook, that's Frank Obizi, and also um, all over the YouTube, and my space is www.fbzproductions at myspace.com. So you have a great night, love and light, zeitgeist in effect, occupy. In light of that, one last word, there's a lot of people from the Occupy camp that couldn't come down, so they wanted me to say a few words for them. We are here in spirit, and Franco's representing us tonight, as well as James, and as well as many of the beautiful people that are here. This movement is not something that should be taken lightly. And of course they're gonna be scared, they're gonna be giving out bylaw tickets, and they're gonna be trying to do whatever they can, because they're scared, because we're finally saying, well hey, the system isn't working, and we're taking a stand. So remember, you know, the revolution is not pretty sometimes, 
And this revolution doesn't have guns. This revolution isn't about violence. This is about awakening, and this is about information and unity. And we're one collective family. Bless you all.